Hey, we actually have some really nice weather coming up today. Oh, good. If you okay. want to like open up your windows, take your lunch outside. Awesome day for that. It's just well, a little, awesome. yeah, a little cold to your start. book too. Your yeah. stolen library book, right? <laughs> Hopefully it's a, <laughs> you know, hopefully you didn't steal it. Hopefully you did not, yes. <laughs> hopefully do not you're better people that. than us. We don't condone it. <laughs> well, there's our temperatures this morning. This is our central Topeka camera where we're at 36 degrees. Dew points at 34 and we do have a calm wind, mostly clear sky. Now we are seeing a little bit of frost because of that. So here's a closer look at our Holton camera. If you look closely at the cars there, you can see some of the frost uh, setting up on the windshields, the hoods or the roofs of the cars as well. So if you did leave your cars outside overnight, you probably got a little bit of frost on them, especially in our blue shaded counties here. This is our frost advisory going until 9 a.m. This is apart from our northwestern counties. In the north and west, we did have a little bit more of a breeze. And if you do have a breeze with this kind of a setup, it really hinders frost development. So if you did have some frost on your windshields this morning, give yourselves just a few extra minutes. Uh, otherwise, we are going to have a very warm afternoon too as our winds begin to shift out of the south and west. Winds are nearly calm here this morning across much of the area, but starting to pick up just a little bit to the south. Still out of the west, for the most part about three to seven miles an hour. But as we go throughout the daytime, we will see all of our winds picking up just a little bit more probably looking at around 10 to 15 miles per hour today. A little bit more breezy overnight with some gusts around 20 miles per hour possible. And then we are watching our next cold front coming through. This is early tomorrow morning, 730. We'll see our uh, cold front sweeping on in, shifting our winds to the north and west, probably seeing some wind gusts between 20 and 30 miles per hour even tomorrow and into Thursday, but really not seeing a whole lot of cold air tied to this cold front uh, and hopefully a little bit of moisture, but not a lot. But our temperatures are starting out in those middle 30s for nearly the entire area. 34 degrees at Lawrence, 37 in Emporia, Burlington and Hiawatha, 33 degrees at Manhattan down to 32 now in Clay Center. Concordia is just a little bit warmer. We had a slightly stronger breeze throughout much of the overnight period and just now are seeing that calm wind in Concordia. So temperatures are a little bit more mild because of that. Throughout the daytime today, we will see temperatures climbing into the low to mid 70s. A little bit warmer than average. That average high sits at 69 right now. But regardless, this is a really beautiful fall day for us. We will have temperatures dropping back into the 50s tonight, some low to even mid 50s before that cold front arrives. And like I was mentioning, not a lot of cold air associated with that, so still managing to make it up into the low to mid 70s for Wednesday afternoon. Satellite and radar mainly clear, just a few clouds passing through this morning. Otherwise, as we zoom out, you can see really quiet conditions throughout the center part of the country here. But by the time we get to tomorrow, we'll be watching this uh, system moving through this little dip in the jet stream. That'll be sliding to the south and east and eventually bringing us our cold front and hopefully a couple showers. But as we take a look at our upper air patterns here, this upper level low dives to the south and east, eventually moves off towards the Great Lakes. And we will see high pressure trying to build in briefly again behind that, giving us some pretty quiet conditions heading into the weekend. Now future track starts this morning 7 a.m. We've got those clear skies. By the time we get to early tomorrow, we will be watching for that cold front. Of course, we may see a few clouds associated with that. Hopefully can squeak out a couple showers, but with our cold air not really being present with this cold front, we're also not seeing a lot of moisture tied to this either. So throughout the daytime, apart from those uh, spotty showers, maybe some sprinkles, we're just looking at a few clouds passing through with that and eventually clearing out for tomorrow evening too. So with this system passing in and out really quickly, we actually don't have any more upper level lows heading our way for the next several days. And Temperatures will be very mild because of that low to mid 70s straight through the end of the week and start of the weekend. Hopefully by Monday night and into Tuesday, we will be watching for a more active weather pattern setting up for us. But as it stands right now, the next several days look mostly dry and actually really pleasant.